Hello everyone, it's Davide here and welcome back to Learning Finance. In today's video, I want to do an update on BNGO stock, okay, so BioNanogenomics, uh, which today has been a crazy day, really. Very, very volatile. As we can see, now the stock is around 10.45, uh, but uh, we hit a top of 13.65 on the day, okay? So we had a swing which has been incredible, 30% up and down in one day. Uh, so it is crazy, but uh, what is going on? I mean, what is the fair price of the stock and why it is so volatile? So I'm going to try to explain that today. Uh, we see that the stock as of now is above the IPO price, which was over there, 21st of September 2018 and it was $10 per share. So we broke that level. And so what to expect right now? That's what I'm trying to explain over there with some real numbers. The only thing I ask you guys is please leave me an early like. It's very important. You help me to grow the channel and I thank you for it. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new updates. Let's begin. All right, guys, so BioNano Genomics, BNGO stock. Now, first of all, today we had the news that, as they said in previous days, they have closed another a new issuance of shares, okay? So 230 million underwritten public uh, offering of common stock and full exercise of underwriting options to purchase additional shares. And they have done that around $6 per share. And it's pretty normal. It's obvious. Uh, the, the company is losing money. So as I said in the previous video, that's the only option that they have. They can do that or raise more debt. But uh, at the end of the day, when you're losing money and you're not profitable, you need new capital. And considering the success that the stock is having right now, so the high valuation that the stock is having right now, it is very normal to do um, new issuance. Okay, so that's great. If you are invested in this company, uh, dilution is pretty normal, as well as all all the other companies which are not profitable yet. If you remember from previous videos, we went through the market opportunity and I have said that in terms of a big investment, I was not comfortable to invest in these companies uh, because it's very difficult to really understand what they're doing. Most of all, understanding whether a product is definitely better than the competitors, okay? So uh, that's the difficult thing to do. And when we see this uh, huge market volatility that we have seen today, uh, that's basically the thing. Uh, investors are trying to understand what's the value of the company, but it's difficult to, to understand it. Okay, So you see plus 30% in the first half of the day and then minus 20% in the second half of the day. Okay, So eating back all the profits and that's pretty normal. Uh, that's normal when you don't understand what is the true fair price of the stock. Uh, over the last five, six days, I have been reading a lot about this uh, genomics stuff uh, because, okay, it's difficult to understand, but um, it looks like a, a great stuff to do. Uh, as I said in previous videos, I really hope that these guys, whatever they are, BioNano or other companies, uh, they will succeed in what they're trying to do, uh, as it will be a wonderful goal for the humanity, okay? Trying to understand the real issues about very bad illnesses, okay? And uh, why not find a solution to actually make those things not be deadly, okay? So that would be wonderful. The stock in the market is going up crazy. Now, what I want to do by that, if you've seen my previous video, uh, I also gave you this for free uh, so you can play with it with your numbers. I have calculated uh, what, in my opinion, is the fair price of the stock. And I'm gonna show you uh, how I did it and what it is. And now the first thing that we want to do, as I did in the previous video, uh, we want to try to understand what is the market, the total market that BioNano can face. They are saying that the global genomic market size is basically projected to reach around $82.60 billion by 2027 
with a compound annual growth rate of around 19.5% during the forecast period. So what we want to do in this spreadsheet over there, we go there as I did in the previous one, and I put $82.6 billion by 2027, as the article is saying, uh, and then we go uh, with 18.85, um, which is what the market size is estimated to be in 2019, and the 19.50% uh, CAGR, okay, compound annual growth rate until 2027. So we have these two different results over there. Now, here it comes basically everything. Now, if uh, the products, let's say they sell a great products, okay? So Sapphire is uh, really a disruptive technology in the genomic sector. Let's try with a 4% market share. How much will be the market share by an annual? 4%. It's obviously an assumption. Uh, by 2027, we would have the return, uh, the net margin. How much will it be the net margin? Today, it loses uh, money, okay? Absolutely uh, not profitable yet. But we can say that, for example, if you look at Big Pharma, they are around 13% in net margin. When we look at biotechnology, as of now, they are all negative. But overall, it looks like that in the healthcare uh, industry, the average net margin looks like to be around 7-8% with Big Pharma on top and then services and stuff a little bit lower. So I said 4%. So that would be the net income by 2027, according to these assumptions. Now, forward P ratios, uh, I have done two of them. So I took 40 and 45. Obviously, when it comes to P-E ratios, it's very difficult to define something. However, if you look at the, the Peter Lynch's book, he says that at some point in the time, uh, a stock should be priced, a growth stock should be priced around the 40 P-E ratio. Okay, so the range between 40 and 50 can look okay for a very high grow innovative stock like Bionano. So that will be the market cap by 2027 according to these assumptions. Different scenario, the 2027A and the 2027B. So uh, between five and six billion dollars by 2027. Now if you take a discount rate quite high, okay 14% to be a little bit more conservative, uh, that would be the market cap today, 2.14 billion, 2.5 billion, depending on uh, the scenarios that you take. Shares outstanding, updated uh, with basically the new uh, share issuance that they have just closed. Those will be the fair prices. So in the 2027A, uh, we will have uh, $7.88 per share, while in the B scenario, 9.34. The thing is, guys, uh, why is the market going crazy? Because if Sapphire is really disruptive, okay, as they say, and in terms of numbers, for example, let's say it's really disruptive, and instead of a 4% of the market, uh, which that would be obviously a great product. But now let's make it this scenario of a disruptive product, okay? So something that is really better than anything else. And let's say is able to take, uh, just with that, let's stay below the 10%, let's say eight. Now you see how maintaining everything the same, look at the fair prices according to the different scenarios. We will have a 15.75 uh, with the A scenario. We basically, the, everything that changes is the total market at the end, okay? So in the A scenario is $78 billion for the genomics market. In the B is 82.6, which is what they say in the article. So we see how the stock can be extremely undervalued still today. The only thing is, that's why in my opinion, it's a very speculative investment. Uh, how do you define this? There is only a way, uh, and the way is trying to understand in reality how much of a disruptive technology is the Sapphire system, okay? That's it. Uh, if you believe that, for example, the, the system is not great enough, there are going to be better things in the future, and then you presume on just a 2% of the market share, and then look at the fair prices, okay? stock will be extremely overvalued but if you are really talking about a disruptive technology about something that it's better than all the stuff then we can presume between seven eight percent that what you get basically without touching the net margins 
let's say if even the net margins let's say instead of four just let's put 4.5 and then you see how uh, the stock can still do another 100 percent to where it is today to reach the fair price okay so i'm not saying that this is the fair price i'm saying that uh, the reason why the market is going crazy every day plus 30 percent plus 15 percent minus 20 percent is because investors are trying to understand this what is gonna be so as long as we really don't understand exactly that we can expect an extreme volatility in the stock price now according to the researches that i have done and the different scenarios that i have uh, tried with the spreadsheet i came out with this valuation okay so uh, the normal scenario in my opinion the normal scenario i have considered a 4.5 percent uh, market shares for bngo okay and uh, a net margin of 4.5 percent uh, with a pe ratio of 45 discounted rate of 14 percent and that's what i have 11.82 for the bull case i have considered the same stuff but with a six percent market shares okay and the net margin around five and that's what i have 17.50 dollars per share is a fair price today now the bear the bear case i have considered that the market shares of bngo is not going to be that great because the product is not going to be that great okay so i consider around 2.5 percent of the market uh, with low profitability so i took around the three percent in net margins and then a 40p and that's what i have 4.43 dollars per share today okay so uh, i put my probabilities i put at the bear case a higher probability than the bull case and that's the normal scenario and i have an average fair price of around 10.74 dollars per share okay so that's according to my research and understanding of the, the genomic sector which obviously i'm not a scientist so i would really like to know uh your fair price that you're fine uh, i find 10.74 dollars per share that's the end of the video guys just tell me down in the comment try to download this and put your numbers and let me down in the comment what's your fair price for the stock subscribe to the channel and as always guys have a wonderful day